Hey everybody, the Johnny Cage here, welcoming you back to some more of Let's Play Lufia 2, Rise of the Sinistrals. Last time we left off, we made our way west, or east rather, to this town of Kowloon, I believe it's called. Um, this is the place I'd mentioned in the previous episode where you could upgrade your weapons, but guess what I upgraded? Oh yeah, G-Gen up to his fourth evolution already, because I just can't get enough of evolving those capsule monsters as soon as I get them. Started off as a little beetle known as Hard Hat. Made his way up to an awesome looking blue and purple bird, then to a Pegasus, and finally became the Jolly Green Giant. But, oh well, who am I to judge? So we'll be using him for this dungeon. Hopefully this is the last dungeon we have to go through where we fight Adora. We're still chasing him, by the way. And, hey, there's a priest in here. What's up with this? I sense uneasiness. If you're going, please be careful. Okay, that's kind of odd. But, oh, and look who our very first enemy is. Our good old friend, the lion. Man, how the mighty have fallen. Ooh, nice iron fist right off the bat. It's very uh, communist Russia of you over there, Jijin. But, yeah, these lions, complete pushover. They don't have nearly the power that they had when they were an actual boss. And, as you might imagine, this dungeon, like every single other dungeon, will be full of really trivial puzzles, which you will have to tediously go through. Uh, I'll try to... Avoid most of the enemies in here, except for these lions. There's lots of them, although some of the enemies in here are really cool, um, and a lot of them in here are susceptible to light attacks, which we really don't have a lot of. Ooh, ooh. Maybe these lions do have a little bit of fight in them. Um, but they're susceptible to light. Most of these in here are like just like undead type of enemies, with the exception of the uh, lions, as you can see here. But as we make our way through, we will run into all sorts of snails that I don't want to fight, very similar to the previous snails. Then you run into these hounds, which, speaking of undead enemies, don't they look just like the dogs in the Resident Evil series? Like, that was my first thought when I saw them. They're like exactly the same, almost. Maybe if they were missing piece of their pieces of their skin and such, but anyhow. They go out down without uh, too much effort. Real easy bosses. Good experience in gold, too, here. Not a bad, bad place to just you know, chill out and do some leveling. Let's see, there's a puzzle here, and there's a door there. This door is useful for this run one reason alone. You can ignore that warp point over there. I don't know what the point of it is, but it takes you to a dead end. There are two dead ends in this dungeon, which is kind of weird. But over here in this treasure chest, we get the Decker Blade! I wonder who that's for! And the Decker Blade is actually ridiculously powerful. Um, I, I'm surprised it's not more hidden, or you don't have to go through more of a puzzle to get it. Look at that, it raises the attack by more than 50 really really helpful especially since Decker's probably going to be the lowest level character on your team considering how little you've used him throughout the game oh, more lions you know there we go we'll deal with them Ooh, and medusas oh look at them look at the little chibi medusas you know actually when i fought the medusas the first time i thought this is a pretty good change up from the medusas that i'm used to i mean you have like the medusas in the god of war series and also from Castlevania 4 definitely came to mind. You know, the very provocative of Medusas with their boobies hanging out. But uh, I thought that these cheapy Medusas were a nice, nice change of pace, if you will. Although they do do poison, which is really, really annoying. You know me and poison. My god, I cannot stand the poison effect. That is just... that really gets my blood boiling good. And as you may have noticed, the Medusas are really not very susceptible to physical attacks. They're definitely the one enemy in this dungeon you're gonna wanna go out of your way to use spells on. So if you've been playing the game like I do, and you're just a melee fighter that goes in there, swords blazing, it's not gonna work super well against the Medusas. And it would be much easier to try to take them out with the Blizzard. They can also do a bolt move, which is really pretty powerful. As you can see, Absorb didn't work too well. It's one of those moves that has a really small chance of actually working, so you don't have to worry much about that, but if they do bolt, oof, which I'm sure they will later on, because I have a feeling we'll see them more than once, and I'm, I just realized that Selen doesn't have the uh, antidote magic. And while we're here, let's just use Johnny to heal up everyone with some strong, because God knows, Johnny is not much of a healer, not much of a mage in general. It looks like we might have some trouble getting around this hound here. Well, maybe I can just... Uh-huh! Got it! So, hit that torch, door closes, this one opens, vice versa would occur, but you're never going to have to go back this way, so do not worry about it. Carloon, Northshine, oh, come on, Medusa, oh, damn, 
God, there's all oh, oh, and a surprise attack. Jeez. Why is there always got to be that one enemy in every dungeon? The horses or something else that just follows you and wants you dead. I just don't get it. Yes, yes, try to use Absorb and it misses everybody. I don't know. I don't know if that's a move, a magic move like some others, where if you were to target less people with it, it would probably have more of a chance of hitting. It's very possible, though. Anyhow, we'll just have to blizzard it up with some selling. Which is another thing that I actually forgot to do when we were back in that town of Kaloon, or Karloon. I forgot if there was an R in there or not. But there's a magic shop there, and uh, magic's pretty expensive, but they do have some pretty good spells if you can afford them. Um, maybe in the next episode I'll go back there and show them before we go out on our next quest. But, oh, yep, there you go. There's the bolt attack. Well, it's not super powerful, but it targets, it targets everyone. And somehow, G-Gen is not affected by it. So that's cool. I'll take that. Oh, man, this is a long battle, though. Oh, come on, dragons. Just just die. Just die already. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. We got a brave out of it. I guess that's something, right? Oh, oh wait. Actually, I do want to show these guys, though. They look like headless armors. Those deadly armors that we saw before. But these guys are actually holding their heads in their hands. I just thought that was really cool. I'm not sure if this is something that... Uh, Nintendo would have allowed in their game anyway. Like I've spoken a few times about how this game has stuff in it that I'm surprised got into it. The religious stuff and uh, the adult humor. Oop, can't get by here. Oh, look at that. Now that's got to be the most pointless puzzle that I've seen in a while. Uh, but we got a, a lion rock out of it, which is actually a really awesome rock accessory for uh, anyone. I'm going to give it to Johnny. Because I have a little bit of bias, seeing as how I, I kind of it can kind of relate to him, us both being fighters and all. But anyhow, like I was saying, I'm not sure if they would consider that headless guy to be a little bit too graphic for a, a normal Super Nintendo game, but they, they put him in there. Now this puzzle, this puzzle's kind of fun. I could do puzzles like that for quite a while. Pretty cool. Then we get a flaming ghost rider head over here. Oh, it suddenly turned into a blue flame when you get close. And I'm not positive what these guys are susceptible to. I'm... It would appear magic. I mean, they look kind of uh, spectral, if you will. Ooh, doesn't look like Blizzard was the kind of magic I should be using against them, though. We'll just have to go physical on their ass. That's what we do. Oh, he bit, he bit me! That flaming skull just bit me! Ugh. As you can see, Decker's doing a ridiculous amount of damage with that Decker blade. Really like that. So if you were, like, worried about him being the weak link on your team, definitely get that, because he will be at a lower level than everyone else, and that Decker blade just... Makes everything go great. And he leveled up on top of it. Awesome. And as you can see here, walls kind of crumbly. Might have some uh, structural integrity issues. Just blow this out. Go to the right first. Hit the switch. Bam. Spikes go down. Light is green. The trap is clean. Save point if you want it. Otherwise, warp point. And, ooh. Well, let's look at it for you know these guys. Oh, oh, and a music change. You know what that must mean. Ooh, red flashing light. What is this? <gasps> Every time I tried to do something, you were in my way. Now I have no place to go. What are you talking about? Sir Amon will not forgive me anymore. Amon? One of the four Sinistrals, master of chaos. Sir Amon trusted me as a servant. Thanks to you, I have lost his trust. I have nothing to lose, but I cannot let you live. Say your goodbyes. So... Here he is, and we'll just use some IP techniques. He's very much the same. For Decker, we're going to use Fatal Blow, which is the IP on him. Takes off half his life. Let's see how powerful this is against a boss enemy. Let's see if it works, even. Selen, we'll go with Die Bomber. Let's see what we could damage we can do right off the bat here. Die Bomber, 120. That's all right. Bite, ooh, 269. Very nice. Oh, call companions, whatever. Oh, 359. Fatal Blow. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, 15 at 23. Oh, I don't even care if it consumes all of your IP. That is, that is dangerous. Wow. I'm surprised he's still standing even after that. Although I imagine he does have some stat boosts. Oh yeah, as you can see, he's still taking a wailing and, and going at it. Oh, Plasma Blaster, Psh, whatever. Oh, wait, actually, damn. Oh, G-Gen's dead. Whoa. That's the first time in a long, long while, I think, that we've had a capsule monster die in a battle. Ooh, jeez. Wow. Well, anyhow, I guess we'll just keep on going as uh, strong as we can. Everyone is pretty decent. Selen's down to about half health, but I 
Yeah, I've got to imagine Endura is almost dead here. 178, 91, 104, come on, oh, oh, ooh, ooh. this could kill Selen. Is it? No, 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 she's alright. Never mind. False alarm. 230, oh, there he goes. Oh, oh, Selen living on the edge with 18 HP. I think that warrants a use of the stronger magic. Uh, and if you just do that to one person, that's going to be full health, probably. Yeah, 306, yeah, that's no problem there. Boom, take out the companion dude. Get a nice chunk of experience and money for that. You will not escape this shrine. Ha 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 So we go forward and... Whoa, Iris? Iris, why are you here? Idura caught me. But why you? Why did Idura kidnap you? I do not know. Anyway, thank you so much for helping me. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Let's get out of this place. Selen, if you would. All right, escape! Huh? It's blocked. It's a Dura. He just had to do some, do a slimy thing before he left. We've no choice. Let's walk down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound good. W what? The shrine is collapsing! Is this a Dura's final hurrah, huh? <laughs> he can be surprising, I guess. Come on, we have to do something. Escape's blocked, for heaven's sake. What can we do? There must be some sort of device that's blocking the spell. How do you figure that? Idura is dead, but magic works. That means something must be generating the magic. Hmm, could be. Alright, let's find out what. So, no quick escape from the dungeon this time, and I guess we'll heal up, because this game ain't like Mario RPG, where they instantly heal you after a big boss battle. Such a shame, but this game's not for amateurs, I suppose. Oh, Medusa, I'd really rather not fight you right now. Or the troll guy. Alright, so come down here. Simple in a puzzle, just move these two pillars onto their appropriate spaces. Everything clearly defined for you. Oh, I really have had it with these kind of puzzles, to be honest with you guys. Big old column will come up the middle, hookshot this, as you might expect. We'll drop you down here. This kind of looks familiar, and you'll go down here, and you'll go down here, and you'll come out over here. Grab yourself the Fury Ring. And I've got to start equipping different rings to people. I haven't changed my accessories in quite a while. That lion rock was really overdue for Johnny. And as you can see here, the pillar's a little susceptible to some explosions. It'll fight these uh, headless guys. I really love the fact that they're holding their heads in their hands. I just think that's so really cool. I don't know. You don't see that very much. Normally it's just a headless guy, and you kind of have to wonder, where's that headless guy's head at? Did you just abandon it? Not useful at all? I mean, how's he going to talk if he doesn't have a head? I mean, even if he can go on living, it seems like it would be worthwhile to talk. Oh, we're going to fight him another Medusa, aren't we? All right, let's get this over with. Oh, good. Two dragons and a Medusa. This shouldn't be a problem. Nothing that Team Johnny the Fighter can't handle. Oh, yeah. IP techniques? Nah, let's forget about it. Let's just try to get this over with as fast as we can. Figure out what's generating this magic. Ugh. Making me work extra long today. Having to go down here and turn off a magic generating switch. Jeez. The work of Johnny the Fighter is never done. Never ever. Alright. Take that, Medusa. Oh! Oh, come on! Poisoning! Seriously? Ugh. Oh, that's the worst thing you can do to me. The end of a fight, just to be a complete douche. Just poison me. Alright. Well, thank goodness Johnny had the poison magic. I mean, we probably do have like 99 antidotes, so I just haven't used one in forever. It is Carloon. Okay, that's how you do say it. Yeah, we got a little... Oh, okay, it's only just one hand. Kill him! Take him out! Use your Jolly Green Giant abilities! Drop a bunch of peas or vegetables on him or something like that. Level up! And you can ignore going to the right there. It just leads you to a dead end. Dead end number two in this dungeon. Isn't that kind of strange? Two dead ends? I don't know. The bomb might be the device. All right, all I have to do is break it, huh? Should look at Decker. Always trying to be the ladies' man and be the show-off. Figures. Break the ball and escape will no longer be blocked. Okay, I'll break it. Here we go! It's a wild way of doing it, but the blockage seems to be gone. Well, let's get out of here. What the? No! Hey, Decker! Oh, darn it. I, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, what? You people are not going back alive. You, you live? Ha ha ha, farewell. Go, 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 get out of here. 
Digger, hold on, I'll be right there. No, this, this ride's not going to last that long. Go! Go, Johnny! Do you think I can leave you like this? This shrine will be gone before it's over. Iris, take them back with you now. B but I said go! Escape! Endura, I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. Oh, no. Decker! Poor guy. Decker. No, it can't be true. That, that Decker couldn't... He'll be okay. Dumb people always make it through all right. Mm, there's a lot of truth to that, actually. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have used escape so soon. No, no, if you hadn't used the magic, we all would have been lost. Mm. Hey, where are you going? Just walking away like that? Where are you going? To pray for Decker. That's the only thing I can do now. <sighs> Man. What are we going to do now, Johnny? Continue our journey. Sinistrals or not, we're going to get them. We're going to do it for Decker, guys. Oh, poor Decker. I miss him already. He loved his sword so much. Anyhow, guys, that's all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Johnny Cage. Please subscribe, comment, and like if you have not. And please pray for Decker. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Take it easy.